I knew I wanted to be a teacher ever since I walked into James Monroe as a first grader. I loved my teachers. I loved learning. I went to Herbert Hoover and during that time I was really sick. I was out a lot and my teachers were there for me. And then when I went to Edison High, there was one teacher who noticed that I had a love of writing and he encouraged it. So my teachers inspired me to become a teacher. I remember like a few years ago I was going through papers from my schooling that I had saved and I came across this paper from kindergarten that said when I grow up I want to become a teacher and that idea really solidified over the years when I had incredible teachers who were encouraging, creative, enthusiastic and they really had such a huge impact on my life and I knew that I wanted to make that difference and I wanted to have as big of an impact on someone else's life like they had on my life. I've always wanted to be a teacher, it wasn't a question, um, but going through school in Edison I had really great teachers along the way and then I got to be part of a child care class in high school with Miss Hendricks and she was inspiring to me. She gave me an award at the end of the year and I didn't even know I, you know, she thought of me that way. So I just wanted to do that for my own students to make them feel important and special when they don't even know that they are. So I always felt like I would have a career with children and in college I had the opportunity during my spring breaks and winter breaks to ex do externships and I always chose to work with veteran teachers or people in the education field and being the person who makes a child feel capable and confident was just so compelling for me to continue to be a teacher. I am the first one in my family to go to college, a true testament to my parents' hard work. Um, when I went to school here, grew up in the district, went to school at Washington School, had fabulous elementary school teachers at Washington School who made me really feel special and I wanted to do the same for other students as well. I, I knew from a very early age that I was going to be a teacher. It does feel good when you are, um, when you find the appropriate placement for a child. You see that the decisions you made all together with your teammates really help the student to move forward in, develop, in their development. Because we see that the child is making progress. And then by the time that they get to kindergarten, some of them who no longer need the special services, that's when you feel good about what you do. My favorite moments are when we've been working on something for a really long time and students have been struggling with it and then they finally start doing it on their own. That's huge. I just have little moments, little moments of success. Um, like when you have a student that comes to you with no skills and nothing and you think, oh my god, what am I going to do here with this kid? Um, but then you have progress and by the end of the year you can't believe where he or she ended up compared to the beginning of the year. Um, so it's those moments that are my favorite. I have a student who was in one of my first classes and he has graduated high school and he now goes to college and he has a job and I happened to see him at his job with a bunch of other teachers and I just thought how wonderful that we didn't just help him academically, we helped him become a better person and then I thought of all the people along the way. This isn't just a one woman show. So I have to say I've been in Edison for 27 years and so I feel like I have 27 years worth of memories. I love the children um, when they get so excited when they come to my room and they feel successful as a reader and I get to see them grow as readers and I just feel lucky to be able to say that I do have a job that I love coming to every day. Um, I had one student which is um, interesting is she it was Christmas break and we were getting ready to leave and she was very upset and I couldn't understand why she was so upset and I asked her and she said I don't want to leave I don't want to leave you over these next few weeks and I kind of felt really like heartstrings because he has this little one who Christmas is the best time to go and, and be away from school and she just wanted to stay 
I have a lot of favorite memories so far, um, but I'll never forget my first year of teaching. Um, I had a child in my class who was nonverbal, and we were really working hard on teaching him to request for help. Towards the end of the year, his mom actually called me one day and said she couldn't believe it. She was so surprised. Uh, at home, he had asked for help um, without any prompts, without anybody um, telling him to. He did it on his own, and I'll never forget the excitement in her voice um, because she just couldn't believe that he did that on his own. Just to know that something that might seem so simple um, can really make an impact in these children and their parents' lives. I have a couple of moments, but I probably would say like the biggest moment is in the program that I'm in is like the success stories. Um, just talking to the students, like I'll see them when we go visit the high school and they're like, oh, Miss Cabrera, I work at TJ Maxx now and I've had students who came here from another country, no English, just very learning the American way. And now she has a job at TJ Maxx. So it's just like the success stories that I hear from the students and the teachers that now have them. It just is very rewarding. <laughs> when I think back to one moment this year, um, I was working with a first grade student who in the beginning of the year was a non-reader. So when I felt he was ready, I placed a book in front of him and he started to point and read the words. And when he finished the page, the realization that he had read the words just like lit up in his eyes and like the hugest smile beamed across his face. And he looked at me and he said, I read that. I read the words. I can read. And he was just so excited that like my teacher heart was like ready to explode. Um, a few years ago, I got a shout out from one of my students on a strip of white paper. And it said, Mrs. Noel has never given up on us, even when we give up on ourselves. And it was so powerful and it really touched me. That shout out is a favorite memory. It, the words are etched in my brain because um, it's an important reminder that we need to take into consideration the needs of the whole child. One of the best moments of my teaching career was when we had the clap out. And those students that came back at the end of the year, I had them in kindergarten. And I would have to say there were about 10 of them and they all remembered me and I remembered them and I brought pictures and just to reminisce and like remember, that to me is really probably the best part about teaching is just seeing where they went, where they were and then where they came to and it's a great experience, so. Working with students who lack confidence in themselves. They don't see themselves as special or talented and to help them, help them reveal to themselves, to help them discover how talented they are. When that light bulb goes off and, or goes on, I would say, and they see themselves in that light is what makes me tick. That's what I love about teaching. I have many special memories through my years of teaching and I would have to say it's when the students that I had come back to visit and they let me know how well they're doing. Hoover had just celebrated their 50th anniversary so we had a lot of our students come back and they gave us their impression of what it was like when they were there, um, when they were here. And it was just very rewarding to hear how happy they were and what they really thought of us.